Sometimes a game is more than a game. Our Black History Month series focuses on Kansas City's public parks and four businessmen of yesteryear. Men who refused to take no for an answer. Fox 4 Sean McDowell takes us to Swope Memorial Golf Course where integration began to blossom when four African-American golfers showed up to tee it off. A huge drive toward equality took place in 1950 on a golf course. Four African-American businessmen of the day showed up to the clubhouse at Swope Memorial Golf Course, which was racially segregated at the time. Black people were not permitted to play golf there. Reuben Benton and three of his friends, who are known collectively as the foursome, threw their money on the clubhouse counter and played nine holes, defying the laws of that era. Ask anyone who's from that era, Reuben Benton um, was a force to be reckoned with. Attorney Shamari Benton is Reuben's grandson. He says his grandfather didn't think of that moment as a precursor to the civil rights movement. He likely just wanted to play golf with his friends. It's bursting the bubble of fear and understanding that, you know, you have to take some risk to burst that bubble of fear. Even if that is the law. History shows those four golfers had a fifth man with them that day, assigned to stay in the parking lot and guard their cars against vandalism. Their courageous stand led to the integration of public parks in Kansas City, Missouri. Jim Watts, who works at the Black Archives of Mid-America, says five years after the foursome took their courageous stand at Swope, another group of black golfers tried the same thing in Greensboro, North Carolina. Watts says those men went to jail. A lot of the heavy lifting had already been Done. Watts points to a 1938 lawsuit in which black golfers of the era won the right to play golf at Kansas City's municipal courses. Watts says there's no record anyone tried to exercise that right until 1950. If you go out there, you're going to get shot or you're going to get beat up or you're going to go to jail and, and white people control the law. So you go to jail, you might not ever get out of jail. The Kansas City Parks Department is searching for photos of the foursome. This photo has been displayed in the golf course's clubhouse for years, but it's recently been found to have been mislabeled. They said enough is enough. Business owner Chris Good served on Kansas City's Parks Board for almost two years. He says the battle the foursome fought is still raging since there's a visible inequality between parks in some neighborhoods as compared to others. Why still in 20 2022 is that the case when resources are abundant municipal municipal resources and funds are flowing but there's still an imbalance in many parts of Kansas City uh, and what those gentlemen fought for is what we have to continually fight for today. The move made by these four men has set a better stage for fair play. Sean McDowell Fox 4 working for you. The foursome was inducted into the Metro's Golf Hall of Fame in 2014. Jim Watts from the Black Archives of Mid-America is working on a documentary about the black history of golf in the Kansas City Metro. And if you happen to have photos of the foursome, as mentioned in the story, please contact the Kansas City Parks Department.